The U.S. has started sending weapons to Ukraine from its military warehouse in Israel. The United States has taken another important step in meeting Ukraine's growing need for weapons. U.S. The New York Times informs about it. It is said that the Pentagon is tapping into a vast but little-known stockpile of American ammunition in Israel to help meet Ukraine's dire need for artillery shells in the war with Russia. American and Israeli officials confirms this. The stockpile provides arms and ammunition for the Pentagon to use in the Middle East conflicts. The United States has also allowed Israel to access the supplies in emergencies. The Ukraine conflict has become an artillery-driven war of attrition, with each side lobbing thousands of shells every day. Ukraine has run low on munitions for its Soviet-era weaponry and has largely shifted to firing artillery and rounds donated by the United States and other Western allies. Artillery constitutes the backbone of ground combat firepower for both Ukraine and Russia, and the war's outcome may hinge on which side runs out of ammunition first, military analysts say. With stockpiles in the United States strained and American arms makers not yet able. So, the Pentagon has turned to two alternative missile supplies, one in South Korea and the other in Israel. Although it was announced that the reserves in South Korea were being used, information about the use of the warehouse in Israel has not been disclosed so far. The New York Times writes that Israel has consistently refused to give weapons to Ukraine because it is afraid of spoiling relations with Moscow and initially expressed concern that the Pentagon would be seen as a participant in the arming of Ukraine if it is sent weapons from a warehouse in Israel to Ukraine. Israeli and American officials said that about half of the 300,000 shells sent to Ukraine have already been sent to Europe and will be delivered to this country via Poland. The United States has so far sent or promised to send 1,155mm projectiles to Ukraine. A high-ranking U.S. official who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss operational issues emphasized that a significant part of it was sent from reserves in Israel and South Korea, the publication wrote. A senior U.S. official said that South Korea is more willing to cooperate with the U.S. in this process than Israel.